women is a man. Is a fucking man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? W fucking shit. Hell yeah, nigga. Clown, bro. Clown, bro. Making it, bro. Finna make it, bro. Go make it, bro. Watch. Nigga, watch. I am a girl. 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 Yeah. What the fuck, nigga? I'm Claire. I'm from Huntington Beach, and I'm 24. I'm Hania. I'm 26, and I'm from Inglewood. I'm Sang. Um, I'm 23, and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Mia. I'm 19, and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste. I'm 19, and I'm from Culver City, California. Oh. I'm Casey. I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Matt. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work. That's a bitch. No, 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 What the fuck? Nigga sounds sexy as hell. But, yeah. For the most part, my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it, because if I was too girly, then it would be too obvious. What's everyone wearing? I'm in some Sambas, black jeans, and like a light greenish top okay. from Zara. Okay, okay. I'm wearing Levi's. Um, a like bodysuit and then dunks and a little cardigan too. I'm wearing like a purple skirt, like a white off the shoulder top kind of. Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh, <laughs> I'm a size 10. So they basically got to find out which one is the, is the, is the dude. 10? Yeah, 10 in women. How tall are you? 5'10". Oh, Ooh, yeah, so that makes sense. Damn, I'm bitch. a short girly. I'm 4'11 without these heels <gasps> on. Whoa. Oh man. Uh, on a good day, I'm 5'4", though. I am wearing size 7.5. I think it's pretty mm, average yeah. for girls, I guess. Okay. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size f like 5. I'm 6 foot, and I have a shoe size of 9, so. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's no, 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 no. That was a nigga right there. Look, the girl right there on the right got scared. Just look. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like your biggest insecurity? Ooh, Ooh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions and having a lot a large role in the discussion. I got a big old forehead. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone with a regular forehead because <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got regular foreheads. Like I'm getting regular forehead energy here. <laughs> Laughing was a big thing for me. They were laughing a ton, and I was trying to, I was trying to like, <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying my best. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back, and it's pretty bad, especially when I want to go to the beach. So it can be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have another question. What's your like usual go-to style? For me, not, I think I would say like an urban, like comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person, so um, yeah, I'd say urban comfy. Whatever is currently in style, I try what to stick to that. Fuck, yeah, that's how part. I feel too. I mean, I try to keep mine just like timeless, wearing that, timeless like pieces that yeah. like, mm -hmm. keeping it timeless. Very practical. I'm wearing a tank top right now, so <laughs> it works out. What did you guys want to be when like you were a little girl? I really wanted to be a veterinarian. Same. I actually. really loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. I'm actually, I have horses back in Washington, <gasps> so. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One I of them's name that. is Scooby Doo. It's <gasps> Scooby Doo! Yeah. I love He's that. adorable. <laughs> I assembled like a speech for certain questions, but there was. This nigga, bro. This nigga, man. Some questions that were just completely off what they were, like, off the page. Like, the horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> what? For me. <laughs> now, what if I want to, like, no. Seriously, no, seriously. What if I want, what if I'm on the phone with this nigga? Whole time. Sound like a fucking girl. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to a nigga the whole time. I've always wanted to be like a singer, songwriter, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Can you sing? So I'm assuming you can sing. Yeah, I do. I write my own songs and I like release them. Okay, so we're we're gonna be like your first fan. Yeah. Show us off. The fuck you mean, that's you, Jasmine? I'll stop. Yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. Casey's voice is kind of high. 
So it, it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie. And Damn! <laughs> I ain't gonna say shit. That doesn't just happen. I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. Oh, okay. and, and then I got to UCLA and took chemistry. Uh, and I was like, oh, we gonna switch that around to something else. Were you pretty <laughs> Yeah, I was like biochem. I was like, oh, absolutely not. I'm a stand-up comedian now, though. I don't know. That's completely different than where we started. It was almost like when you know somebody's lying because they explain too much. That's what it was like. Okay, she she planned this script out pretty well. So, so did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yes, I went to UCI. I graduated from like a small little school in Boston. Um, it's called LaSalle, but it's not really well known. But yeah, so I was over there for four years, and then this is like my first full year being back. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get back to the video. This bitch is like Russell Westbrook. Man, that bitch is like Russell Westbrook, bro. Am I bugging, bro? We don't trust each other. Okay. <laughs> this is. We will just move on to round two with all. Of you. I have the first question. Okay. Go ahead. What was you guys' first period like? I was just gonna ask oh. that. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, we gotta get down to the. Says, Wait, it just hit me. Fendi, think about it. Bro went a long time trying his hardest to sound like a girl. Oh. Dead ass. Dead ass, bro. Gritty gritty so, now. For me, what if I he does that on men? I'll sue that nigga. You know what was going on? Because I read like the American Girl doll books and oh my everything. God, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for me, I w it was over the summer before ninth grade, and I was getting ready to go to track practice. And then just happened, I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm a woman now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was kind of behind everybody else, so I knew it was going to come soon. So mm -hmm. I was kind of ready for it. I was in the sixth grade bathroom, and I was freaking out, and my friends were outside. So when I got home, I told my mom, and she just like shoved me a pad and said, hey, try that, like, put this on, <laughs> and then here. She never, I don't know, it's like maybe it's an Asian thing. She's just never talked to me about it. I think I was in seventh grade, I'm pretty sure. I Damn. was at home and I like went to the bathroom and I saw that there was blood and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason, so I called my cousin. I was like, I don't know what's going on, like help me. And, and you never so, had the talk or anything? I did, which oh. was like the funny part. Like, I don't know, I, and then I eventually told my mom like after her, but yeah. yeah, my cousin was the first one that knew, so. I was in seventh grade math class and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird like sensation below my stomach. And I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But eventually I just ran this to the bathroom because I just like didn't feel good. Okay, there's no way one of you isn't a girl. That's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so I just went with it. <laughs> Name something really specific that only a girl would get. Like specific, don't just say pad. Um, I have really insane cramps, so I have Midol on me at all times. Okay, that's specific, Midol. Um, mm -hmm. At all times, I have to have it. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pain, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, same. Like I get right before my, cheek. my period. Is anyone irregular? Well, I started birth control, and like it's really screwed me up. Like I started the next plan on, so that's something another girl might specific. Want to know. Yes. Specific. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh so. man. Hundred yeah. percent. It's really disgusting, kind of what happens when you're just existing as a woman. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh. Um, <laughs> You say yes as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, so preach to them. Yeah. So true. I would say like the hyper vigilance required to like go places by yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's little things we do that 
I don't know if everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears. Right. There ain't no music mm -hmm. playing. Let me just, yeah. the let me just look down on my phone. Ain't nobody <laughs> oh, yeah. even texting me. Yeah. The screen be black. It becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be a normal to always have to feel like mm -hmm. You have to protect yourself like a force right. field. Do you guys know anyone, or like if you want to share, like that has experienced sexual assault? Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. I've came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly, and I'm proud of myself. I've experienced sexual assault, and I think it does have a very, like it hawks your, your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally as a woman. But there's a lot of emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve, to, to even volunteer yourself as Tribune to say yeah. that, um, acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me, because I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, you know, like, it's almost like I'm pitting myself. I don't know, I don't even know what to call it, like survivor and like, I don't even know, like, it's just weird. Okay. Yeah. It's any, any word that feels comfortable to you. I made it past one round, that's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually happy that I was the first one voted out, so, yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper, because I need to figure out who the wall yeah. is. Yeah, How do you guys feel about abortion? Oh, um, you get deep. Damn. <laughs> For me, I'm pro-choice. They voted him out? Has the decision to do whatever they want with their body, and within pro-choice. Damn, how do they know? The fuck? Choice also exists pro-life if you believe that you are pro-life for yourself. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself just because I, I don't know, it's scary to go through just a medical procedure. If I got a strong feeling she gets some pretty ass eyes, bro. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, like you do, like it's fine. Like that's yeah. the whole point of pro-choice, I feel like. And the exactly. government shouldn't be the ones deciding, so. Right. Exactly. Nah, 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 I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I'm low-key mad that he didn't make it this far. But like, role model that you have, like a woman role model. I dead wanted them to lose. Like, oh um, I don't want to be cliche, but I'm gonna have to say my mother. Say Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, she blows my mind. It's, it's, it truly flabbergasts me, the things that moms do and they make it seem like it's slight work. My go-to person is my dad. Like, he is everything to me, and he has taught me what it is to be an upstanding person. Hold on, it's Rhonda. Bro. Yeah. Hey, Whitney. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> Society, and to respect everyone, so I just, yeah. I knew she had some pretty ass eyes, bitch, bad. If you want to keep playing because you think the mole is in the box, raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, I'm just fucking hands down. Okay, go and for I it. have a reason. Um, Hania, what's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic, mm -hmm. and I just like and like you've been kind of really talkative recently. So like that kind of like red flagged me a little bit. Oh, let me fix that up for you. So, <laughs> um, I also did. I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault. So abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice. So the whole conversation when I when I debate about it, it, it does give me a little. Tri What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? Let me watch the final review. The video. Yeah. I got it. The box turns red, the mole is still in the box, and they win the cash prize for themselves. If the box turns green, you four have correctly voted out the mole, and we'll share the cash prize. Nah, I ain't want them to win though, Chad. I didn't even want them to win. Hey. <gasps> oh, no. What? Honestly, it's, it's a weird experience, what? but uh, no. It starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! <laughs> but this bitch is like Westbrook. <laughs> this bitch is like Westbrook. What the fuck? I mean, what? Wait, I oh my god. god. Nat looks like he was in like high school music Yo, bro, what's or the word? something. Like Camp Rock. So when I opened my eyes and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay, 
You got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do like Omegle content, and then I went what? To, like, oh. some gaming stuff, and so yeah, that's what I do for that's a That's so crazy. Crazy. Whoa! No. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> wait, no, did wait. you ask a period question? She probably fucked good. She probably fuck good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's exactly wow. what we're teaching. Oh, no. Whoa. Being 6'4", I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to like go in there and try to be somebody that I'm not. I was scared coming into this because I didn't want to fall into stereotypes, because I know I don't want people to stereotype me. I don't want, like, no one wants that. No one wants to be assumed. I was thinking about just busting out different voices, like, oh my god, you have no idea. No! So. Oh, you got accents too? Oh no, I got you. Because like I do an Australian, but I also do like a it's it's quite weird. <laughs> you should be a voice actor. I, I was thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> no, no, bro.